Hello, my name is Dr. James McCarthy and I'm on the staff here at Mayo Clinic in Rochester. I've been on the staff since 1983 and I've spent the majority of my time dealing with patients that are receiving chronic dialysis treatments. Today I'd like to go over the topic of hyperparathyroidism. Some of you with kidney disease may have heard about this condition and we want to discuss its importance and its treatment. Hyperparathyroidism means overactive parathyroid glands. Now the parathyroid glands are in the thyroid, and there are four of them as I'm gesturing here, two on each side. And in kidney disease, they can become overactive. Now they're normally responsible for helping to balance calcium, phosphorus, and bone metabolism. But when they become overactive, they can actually cause bone to dissolve, but more importantly, they can accelerate hardening of the arteries. So patients with chronic kidney disease who have a predisposition to this condition can experience accelerated hardening of the arteries because of this overactive parathyroid gland. Now your doctors can determine if this is present by the measurement of a blood test called parathyroid hormone or PTH. When the PTH levels are elevated, your doctors may then take steps to try and control this. They're trying to prevent some of the complications. It's very difficult to understand this concept because this is silent. A person doesn't feel any different. Now, we could also consider another risk factor for hardening of the arteries, and that's cholesterol. Cholesterol is also silent. But in patients with kidney disease, the PTH level is equally important or maybe even more important than cholesterol as a factor to accelerate hardening of the arteries. So your doctors, nurses, and other people in the dialysis and kidney center may bring this up to you. The things that they will do to try and treat it or control it will be to ask you to control the phosphorus level in your blood, this indirectly affects the, the PTH levels. Then they may measure levels of vitamin D in your bloodstream and may even ask you to take some extra vitamin D compounds to control this condition. Then there are other special vitamin D medicines that are given either by pill or by vein to try and control this condition. If all of that fails, then there are really only two other treatments. One is another pill and its name is called Sinicalcet. It's the only pill available to do this. And some patients can't take that because it can upset your stomach and occasionally it's extremely expensive for some people. If that doesn't work, then we often have to resort to surgery. Now the surgery is one in which the surgeon goes into the neck area and removes some of the parathyroid glands. The surgery itself doesn't take very long, but it takes a very experienced surgeon to do it well and do it right the first time. Afterwards, you may need to take extra calcium or vitamin D compounds. So in summary, hyperparathyroidism can occur in many patients with kidney disease. It's determined by measuring the level of PTH in the blood. It can be controlled by various medications, and in some cases, surgery is required. And the main reason that we really want to control this is to decrease the risk of atherosclerotic or hardening of the artery events, such as strokes, heart attacks, or circulation problems. This is something you need to talk with your doctors, nurses, and kidney team about to be sure that your PTH level is controlled. Thank you very much.